And those high prices are impacting more than just shoppers. Many nonprofit organizations are also seeing a huge dip in donations. Danielle Miskell spoke with a local nonprofit today and learned more about the impacts of inflation on its mission. This is stuff we give. The pandemic slowed donations for Lighthouse Ministries. We thought this could be the beginning of the end. But what the nonprofit organization wasn't prepared for was how long it would last. This year it was kind of surprised me um, because I figured we were through the worst of it, but then it's like we're feeling the effects of it now. Executive Director Tay Henderson says when you run a nonprofit, you just have to be flexible. So, I mean, I haven't done this in a long time where I was calling churches and calling places asking them to do food drive for us. The post office did their annual food drive this year, and I thought, ooh, that's going to be great. You know, we'll stock up. I probably used all of that within a month. And how long did you About six months. Lighthouse Ministries also took part in the Good Giving Challenge this holiday season to try to make back the cost they lost for their overhead expenses. And I set a goal higher this year. So hopefully to try to recoup some of the money, not only did our donations go down 80,000, we spent over 60. If food's not donated and canned goods aren't donated and the supplies and paper products and all, and cleaning supplies and all that, then you, you have to buy them. Having to adjust, Henderson says she can't be disappointed this holiday season with the dip in donations. We need to do something, you know, make people aware. And sometimes, I, and I realize that the economy is tough on everybody, and so people are probably holding on to it a little bit harder. Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News.